Hello everyone, my name is Molly Mayfield. I'm a support specialist at Rockware. Thank you for attending this webinar today. In this session I'll offer a quick overview of some of the programs contained in Rockworks which apply to geotechnical applications. This won't be much of a how-to but more of an overview. So if you have questions about specific programs that I discuss, please shoot an email to support at rockware.com. Here are the topics that we'll cover today. First, we'll look at the free Earth Apps programs, which are included in Rockworks 16. Then we'll look at the Rockworks Utilities mapping programs and some of the other tools in the utilities. Then we'll jump to the Borehole Manager and look at some of the geotechnical tools there. And finally, discuss other miscellaneous programs that may be of use. The Rockworks 16 Earth Apps programs are available in the Earth Apps Program tab. All of the Earth Apps programs are available free of charge. Just install the Rockworks 16 trial version, which is fully functional with all of the programs for two weeks. Once the trial period expires for the rest of the program, the Earth Apps are still available. The Earth Apps are used to read spatial data from the Rockworks datasheet and output maps, images, and flyovers directly to Google Earth. So let's say you're just starting a new project with Rockworks. You can enter or import or copy and paste your sample locations and surface measurements into the Rockworks datasheet. Then define the coordinate system you're using and the units for the data. And then you can create a variety of output types. You can create point maps which illustrate your sites with symbols, scaled circles, 3D cones and cylinders. If you have strike and dip measurements listed in the datasheet, you can display these as symbols and as oriented disks in Google Earth. If you have coordinates for site boundaries, roadways, underground lines, and other infrastructure, you can display these in Google Earth using the Earth Apps line, polyline, and polygon maps. You can display project images, scanned maps or logs, raster images and drawings in Google Earth as well. You could drape them on the ground, float them, or display them vertically like these logs here. You can also apply transparency. Use the Earth Apps Flyovers menu to create simple flyovers around or through your project sites or elaborate flyovers between specific points. One of the handiest programs allow you, allows you to copy a point or a path that you've drawn in Google Earth and then, then let Rockworks create a circular or forward-looking flyover automatically from that. For sites in which you have known station points and bearing and distance measurements to other points, Rockworks can compute the XY locations and create point maps and polygon maps for display in Google Earth. The utilities programs in Rockworks also read data from the same row and column datasheet. These programs are accessed via the Utilities tab in the program. Included here are programs for displaying maps, creating grid models, manipulating grids, solid modeling, processing linear and planar features, generating statistical diagrams, importing images, and much, much more. The output from the utilities is displayed in the 2D or 3D plot windows in Rockworks where they can be edited, appended with other layers, and saved for later display. And note that these views can also be exported to Google Earth. The map menu in the utilities offers visualization of multiple measurements at sites using pie chart maps, spider maps, bar chart maps, and starburst maps. You can create point maps with unique symbols and very detailed labels. If you have XY points with dip direction, dip angle, or strike dip measurements, you can create 2D maps with symbols and 3D displays with disks showing the orientations. Rockworks includes programs for creating contour maps representing elevations or any spatially referenced measurement values. There are simple triangle-based contour maps as well as grid-based maps. A number of gridding methods are available in Rockworks, and you can include line contours and color contours with many color schemes, and you can define your own custom color tables. Grid models can be displayed as a 3D surface in the program's interactive 3D display window, and Rockworks 16 supports a number of mapping coordinate systems in the Earth Apps 
the utilities, and in the borehole manager. You can define your coordinate system and units and reproject coordinates. In addition to point and contour mapping, the utilities offers a number of other geotechnical programs. You can enter total weights and sieve measurements into the utilities datasheet and generate a sieve diagram with a variety of options. This program is in the statistics menu. You can create trilinear or ternary plots via the statistics menu. As shown on the left here, you can include density contours as a layer in the diagram. If you have separate data files for multiple sites, you can create ternary diagram maps. The ternary program also offers some standard sand, clay, silt types of overlays, Folk, Schlee, Shepherd, and USDA. The Planes menu in the Utilities offers planar feature analyses such as three points to planes, rotation tools, and stereo nets. You can plot custom symbols for the lineations or poles to planes, and you can overlay density contours. The Linears menu contains tools for linear feature analyses, maps, density calculations, and rows diagrams. Rows diagrams can be generated from simple listings of bearings or from lineation endpoints. In the Grid menu, there's a collection of directional analysis tools which can determine the slope and aspect of surface models, as well as second derivative grids which basically show the change in slope. You can generate uphill, downhill gradient maps, flow maps, and more. So far we've been discussing programs which work with surface sample data, read from the row and column data sheet. If you have borehole data, then you can access the Borehole Manager Program tab. Here there's a borehole database for entry of your data and a suite of programs which work with these data. I'm going to have to fly through these. Please refer to previous webinars for more details about individual menus and diagram types. Rockworks creates borehole log diagrams in both 2D and 3D. A log designer allows you to define which log columns to display, in which order, and with many display options for size, color, and so forth. Some of the column types include curves, lithology, stratigraphy, fractures, which are shown as disks in 3D and tadpoles in 2D, water levels, bar graphs, colors, raster images, well construction diagrams, and text. Note that our separate log plot program creates more detailed borehole logs with elaborate headers and footers and log options. The Rockworks logs are simpler, designed for display in project-wide diagrams like cross-sections, and Rockworks and Logplot can share data. You can create cross-sections which display logs only, as well as sections which include interpolated panels. This section is sliced from a lithology model. In 2D, there are three main flavors of cross-sections. A multi-panel section which extends from borehole to borehole, a single slice profile onto which boreholes are projected, and just recently we've added to Rockworks 16 a multi-panel projected cross-section. This is specifically designed for geotechnical projects with many boreholes, such as is shown here in the section selection screenshot. Instead of having to draw the section location from borehole to borehole, you could draw the section line where you like, define a swath distance, shown here in yellow, and borehole logs inside that distance will be projected onto the section line. We've also recently added the ability to display images in the section selection window, so if you need to draw the section location along a roadway, for example, you can have the aerial photo there for reference. Of course, you can also import these section location lines if they've already been defined. If you want to include interpolated panels in your sections, there are a couple of options. First, there are easy correlation panels available for stratigraphic, p-data, and i-data cross-sections. The example here shows resistivity data. In these cross-sections, the program interpolates the panels using the log data on either end, like a vertical grid. These are generated quickly, but some, can sometimes look blocky, and they do not take into account any data from nearby holes. Model-based correlation panels are sliced from 3D stratigraphic models 
or 3D solid models representing lithologic, geophysical, geotechnical, fracture, color, or other data. The section shown here is generated from a lithology model. We've recently added new snapping tools to the 2D display window so that you can create log-only sections and then draw in your own correlation panels with easier snapping control. You can snap to lines and to vertices and so forth. Stratigraphy and water level data are modeled in RockWorks using surface modeling tools with numerous gridding and 2D and 3D display options. For observed borehole rock types which are not easily organized into ordered stratigraphic formations, you can enter them into the lithology data table and interpolate a solid model or block model. Lithology solids can be shown in 3D as you see here as a voxel display. They can also be sliced as a 3D fence diagram, sliced as a 2D cross-section, sliced horizontally as plan maps, and more. Numeric data you've recorded downhole, such as penetrometer data, e-log data, concentration values, and more, can be interpolated into a solid model, which can be viewed in 3D as voxel diagrams, as isosurfaces or skins, as 3D fences, and as 2D cross-sections. Here, for example, is a fence diagram representing a soil compaction model. You can generate detailed volume reports from lithology models and stratigraphy models. Uh, one of the data tables in the borehole database is used for entry of downhole fractures. These can be displayed as tadpoles in 2D logs, as disks in 3D logs, and represented as rose diagrams, rose diagram maps, stereonet diagrams, and stereonet maps. You can also create a solid model showing distance to closest fracture or to closest fracture intersection. These fracture models can be displayed using all of the 2D and 3D display options elsewhere in the program. 3D voxels, isosurfaces, fences, sections, and so forth. Unique to RockWorks is the ability to model color data. You can enter colors into the borehole database by clicking and choosing a color sample, or you can define the intervals using Munsell codes, and RockWorks will generate the color swatches automatically. The interpolated color model can be displayed using all of the same 2D and 3D display options elsewhere in the program, 3D voxels and fences, sections, plant slices, and so on. Getting field data into software programs is always a challenge. The Borehole database includes imports from Excel, AGS, which is new to RockWorks 16, Colog, Fugro, CPT, GINT, LAS, Penetrometer, and ADO uh, for uh, bringing in data from other databases. Here I'll quickly review some of the other handy tools in RockWorks 16. If you have two tracks of curve data in the database, such as geophysical measurements and known lithology for calibration holes, RockWorks can create a prediction model for holes where the lithology materials have not yet been defined using their curve data. And then if the prediction model looks reasonably defined, you can request that RockWorks post these predictions to the database. With a user-created table associating known lithology types with a real number value, such as porosity, conductivity, cohesion, or strength, you can have RockWorks post those numeric values to the iData table for modeling and display. Here, for example, is a porosity model combined with the lithology logs from which the porosity values were derived. All RockWorks 2D graphics can be edited, location, color, size, and annotated with shapes, text, legends, and more. There are measurement tools for lengths and areas and bearing, and digitizing tools. The Rockplot 3D display offers interactive rotation, panning, zoom, and layers. You can append any 3D scenes within your project to generate detailed composite scenes. RockWorks also includes a page layout program called ReportWorks which you can use to create detailed posters with RockWorks graphics, other images like photos or logos, and shapes and text. You can set up the pages to be any size, 
letter size to plotter size. It's important to be able to share your project output and you can export your graphics to shapefile format for use in GIS, to raster formats, to DXF for CAD programs, and to Google Earth. If you need to get external images into your project maps and 3D scenes, Rockworks includes tools for importing images, including the ability to rotate and clip or rectify those which are not north-south oriented. You can display images as backgrounds in maps, float them or drape them in 3D, and there are digitizing tools to capture points from images. The professional version of Rockworks Level 5 contains tools for automating repetitive program functions, and it's actually very easy to do. There's no programming required. At its simplest, you click a button to save a menu's settings to a file, and you can later then just double-click on that file, which we call RCL, to rerun the menu option. You can add one RCL list onto the end of another, and they're just text in format, to run the two menu options and so on. This automation not only saves time regenerating your series of maps and models and sections after new data is added to the project, in fact, you can just go have lunch. But it also provides the list of modeling settings that you used. So a year later, if you're revisiting your project, you'll have a breadcrumb trail of exactly how the models and diagrams were generated. So that's it for this session. Thank you for joining us today. Um, here's just a screen with some resource information. You can Get more information from our product, Rockworks 16 product page at rockware.com. You can download the demo from our download page on our website. We have a support forum where we post tips and questions. There are a whole bunch of how-to videos on our YouTube channel. Look for Rockware Software. Um, you can con go to our online store or contact our sales desk if you want to order any software. Um, technical questions and pricing questions can be sent to tech at rockware.com or sales at rockware.com. And we also have a variety of training options in the training section of our website. Thanks for joining us.